right, I have just barely tested out crocodoc.com uh, to, to save documents and uh, be able to mark them up. And uh, so I'm going to demonstrate that real quick. Just found out about this today. It's pretty sweet. <clears throat> I'm going to do a little practice run first. I've got a state test, uh, practice test for biology EOC. And so I'm going to, uh, I've saved that. So I'm going to upload it. So I come over here, I find the practice test. There it is right there. Open it. And it's going to gonna upload it for me. All right, so now it's uploaded. And you can see I've got some options here for how I want to annotate. Um, so I'm going to do drawing. And I'm going to get down to a question that I want to work on with a student. Uh, so let's see here. Let's do... Which best explains why the bacterial cell is classified as a prokaryote? A prokaryote. So keywords here, we've got bacteria and prokaryote, probably classified as important too. So I'm going to think about what do I know about prokaryotic cells. I know they do not have a nucleus. They do have DNA. They do not have membrane-bound organelles. So let's see what we got here. So presence of a nucleus, we know that doesn't count as a prokaryotic cell. Absence of a nucleus, that's pretty significant. Presence of a cell wall, not so much. Absence of a cell wall, not so much. So we're going to go with B. Um, so I've just annotated my page. I can also type in uh, comments. As you can see there, um, I can do text highlighting. Well, well that one's Obviously, I haven't figured that one out yet. Ooh. Anyway, um, so there's obviously some things I still need to learn. There we go. There's the highlighting feature. Or not. This is embarrassing. Anyway, um, but the main feature that's key for what I want to do is going to be the circling and annotating. So I can scroll up and down, and it'll still be there. So I can go back to it later if I want to refer to it. Okay, so... I haven't signed up yet, so I'm going to go ahead and go through that step. Sign up. The username. Create an account. And it looks like there I go. So I'm going to try and add a document. I'm going to go ahead and add the practice test again. And see how that goes. Nice. Okay, so there's the document I was just working on. It's not going to be the same one because um, I didn't have an account yet. So I'm going to go back and um, look, annotate a question. So I'm going to click draw. I could use my colors there. Um, if you've been killed, the giant trichon on coral reefs. What would happen to the coral population? Oh, sorry, that was kind of a crazy circle. Um, and let's see. So I can download the PDF that's marked up and save that. That's cool. Um, I wonder if it saves it. Practice test. So I'm going to... I don't see anything, any option for saving here. And I can make it bigger, which will be good for what I'm going to use it for, for working with students. Um, all right, so I'm going to go back to my documents and see what happens. I'm going to click on that and scroll down and see if it gives me that uh, markup I just did, if I can find the same question quickly. Um, there, and there it is, saved. Sweet. This is nice. All right, so that's basically the end. You saw how quick the sign-up was and um, how easy it is to load documents. So this is, this is perfect. For what I'm going to be using for review sessions online with students uh, going over questions and thinking about why they're the right answers and whatnot. So very cool, very cool indeed. Good job, Crocodoc.